All right guys, so I have a 2016 WRX here and I currently just installed the airlift performance with the V with the 3P management system and when you get these, these are basically like coilovers as you can see. You have your dampening settings and all of that. And I'm just going to show you how you can adjust your camber. So to adjust your camber, you're just going to take an allen wrench and you're going to loosen all four of these bolts. Doesn't take much to loosen them. As you can see, it's moving already. So you just loosen those up. Once you got those loosened up, you can slide this back and forth. Now if you have these all the way over to this side, that's going to give you more of a positive camber, meaning your wheel is going to go outward, and then if you move it over towards this way, you're going to have more of a negative camber. And on top of this, you can get more of a camber adjustment. I don't know if you guys can see that in there, but there's another screw down in there, and you can move the position of these screws. So I am just gonna go over here. Just trying to equal up the backs. I'm going to push that over as far as it can go. Once I got that pushed over. Okay, right back, I gotta push this over. I need both ends. Okay, so I tighten these front two up a little bit. Just needed to make sure it stays in place so I have it equal with my other side. Tighten it down. Didn't seem like it was too tight on there to begin with, but I want to make sure it doesn't move around on me while I'm driving. And if I didn't mention, you do need your car jack out for this. Don't necessarily need the wheel off. Once you got those tightened up, you should be good to go. You can lower your jack down. As you can see, it's not too aggressive because it's not lowered right now. But you've got more of a tilt to it going this way. Positive will go this way. Okay, so as you can see, I dropped it all the way down now and I had, this was pretty much, you couldn't even fit a dollar bill in here. I have a little bit more space now, so it's a little bit safer to drop it this way now. Um, this doesn't have near as an aggressive negative camber as the back wheel, as you can tell from there. But it does have a slight camber to it. So that's how you adjust your camber on either coilovers or airbags.